chest, one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> you just take out the arms. The arm, arm. Okay. Like, 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 like. Show me how. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Cassidy Lance McWhorter. Actually, my real name is Cassidy McWhorter on my driver's license, so I'm not sure what to go by there. Um, CrossFit Games athlete. I was a former gymnast in college at the University of Washington and then started CrossFit afterwards and then went to the games multiple times, and now I have three CrossFit gyms, CrossFit Waterside. I'm Allie McWhorter, um, Allison. I'm a former collegiate athlete as well. It's where I met Cass at the University of Washington. Played softball there, um, went into the Army. Don't have a cool job that, you know, suggests I get to own three different gyms. Um, married Cass in 2016, so been a couple years now. Our life is really busy. I think when people say they work a lot and they're busy, they don't know what busy is. And I don't wanna be rude by saying that, but we work a lot and I mean, we play a lot too. So we make sure we work hard and play hard and we have the balance of stuff. But three gyms, um, they're all, you know, we live an hour away from all the gyms. So we're driving a lot and we're the, handyman for the gym so if something's fixed or needs to be fixed we go there but it's also really fun because we have a lot of great members and we have a lot all our friends are from Waterside so we have really good relationships with all of those people and then on the weekends on Saturday after the gym and then Sunday we try to spend time with just us or with our families um, to just make sure our relationship is good. After 2018, I promised her that we would, I would retire and we would start a family. Um, so we went in, was it 2018, right? We, start, we started the process a little bit earlier. Yeah. We went in 2017, so, just kind of know what the process was, get to know the doctor, hear about it. She said, um, come back when you're done, you're ready and you guys are healthy, we'll start you right away. Like, oh, this is an easy process, awesome, great. So we went on vacation to Jamaica right after the games. We went with my brother and his girlfriend. Um, a good vacation, good break from working so hard. Uh, good summer vacation. We go into the doctors and they said, well, you just recently traveled to Jamaica. You have to wait two months. And we kind of like looked at each other. What, what do you mean? And they said, well, there's Zika. So any pregnant women or trying to get pregnant, you can't travel to those foreign places. It's just a requirement that um, the fertility clinic can. So we waited two months and then I just felt like it was another month and it was another month. This came up, this problem came up. So the months added by where as a n normal conceiving couple, you know, you can try every month. I felt like we just didn't have those opportunities to keep trying, so it was just delayed more and more. I mean, obviously there's a little bit more that goes into you know two women trying to start a family, right? Um, and so there was a whole bunch of research that we did to try and find donor. I think that was step one, was to find a donor that we liked. Um, and then go through different process. There's IUI, there's IVF. Um, we started with IUIs, decided after about three months of trying that uh, to switch over and try IVF. IVF is way more intricate. There was a lot more testing involved, extended the process a little bit, unbeknownst to us at the time. It worked out for the best in the long run, but we essentially ended up doing three IUIs, three IVFs? Three and IVFs, on the yeah. third IVF uh, is when we got lucky. So we said I would go first, and then Allie uh, wants to carry her own baby um, to have something, you know, because we can't have it obviously together and have a part of each of us, even though I wish like, well, maybe one day science will be able to take two eggs and put it together, but at this point in time, they can't do that. So I had said I would go first, and um, after all my 
hormones that were incorrect and all the tests that I had to do and everything just kept coming back negative and I had to keep having procedures done and surgeries done. Um, Allie's like, we talked and she said, I'll try. And we went to lunch after um, she did an IUI and she goes, can I order a beer? And I looked at her and I was like, what? I was like, uh, <laughs> I, for the baby's sake, I hope that that doesn't stick. <laughs> I didn't order a beer, for the record. <laughs> but I was like, maybe the mom life's not cut out for you. <laughs> that particular mom life? Come on. <laughs> I mean, the carrying part. Um, so... Then, after we had that episode, she said, I'll just go get the egg retrieval and you'll carry uh, the baby. And so that's the conclusion. And also, <laughs> Allie doesn't want to walk around in chubbies and be pregnant. <laughs> chubby shorts, that is. Everyone knows what chubbies are. Okay. <laughs> it's, I mean, I do think there's an element of that. Like, I, I wouldn't mind carrying... Um, but I think throughout Cassie and I's relationship, uh, I've really kind of come into understanding much better as a human how to be pretty decent at a support role um, and a supportive role in our relationship. And so through CrossFit, I learned how to do that. And it was an evolution, don't get me wrong. I was, you can ask Cass, I was not very good at it the first couple of years. Got much better at it towards the end when I started to figure it out. Um, and so even the in my head, putting everything second to Cassidy and to the baby just makes a lot of really logical sense to me. Um, but And then somehow reversing that and then me carrying the, it just, not that it's not a good idea or that it wouldn't work out, it's just a, ch a change, something I wouldn't have been used to. Thanks, honey. When Jeez. Guys, so we've kind of switched um, the schedule up. Um, first, how is that going? Is there classes? Patience that and try and eliminate try the stress. I mean, I think. I mean, they say that eliminate the stress, and you're like, I don't have any stress. I'm not stressed. But like, what does that mean to you? Like, do you need to walk away? Do you need to go on a vacation? Do you need to work more? Do you need to stay busy? Do you need to not stay busy? Watch TV. What What does that mean to you? And you kind of have to figure out what your body is. The doctors told me don't work out. And I think that made me more stressed than That's working true. out. So I told Al this last time, I said, we've had so many failed. I'm going to work out like my body knows how. And and I'm not gonna go crazy. I'm not gonna do Fran at a 2:30 pace and be like way intense and be laying on the floor. But I'm gonna move my body, and it's gonna feel. I'm gonna feel good by the end of the day. And I did that all the way through this IVF, and it was. We've had a very healthy baby, and so I think making sure your life is normal and not out of the norm. When I went out of the norm, when I did acupuncture, and I'm staring at the ceiling and saying, this is not helping me. This is, I can't sit here. I'm not, I don't, I'm not a person that can sit. So that was not good for me or, but everyone's a little bit different. So you had to find something that helps you. Right now, I'm not coaching as much as I used to. I used to coach three times um, a week, but I'm trying to get out of it so the coaches don't rely on me coaching and I'm just kind of there helping and guiding um, to prepare for that. Um, but I don't know my schedule. I don't know my schedule tomorrow, so. <laughs> It changes so often. I mean, every day is like pretty much the same. I'm there at 10 with the morning crew and then I'm at Orlando typically Mondays and Fridays and then Windermere Tuesdays and Wednesdays like Mary. And then it changes um, based on the needs of the gyms and obviously the schedules, but um, obviously ba baby will be asleep. Um, 
I, I, most of the time, eight, so. I mean, most of the time when I'm not traveling, I work remote, so there'll be opportunities, I think, for you to leave the baby early on with me at the house too. Yeah, it to just go depends, run into though, the gym like on and, breastfeeding and yeah. timing and stuff. Like, if the gym was 50 There's minutes no away, it would be a lot easier, but the gym's 45 minutes away, so. Well. Very true. So, we, we don't have know. no idea. <laughs> no, on your mask. Oh. Oh, there you go. Oh, the groceries. most fun part, more fun than any athletic accomplishment um, that I've ever been involved with is just being able to carry this little baby and all of a sudden, like last week, my belly popped down. I was like, oh, there he is. And he's moving and ever since six weeks, he's been a handful and tossing and turning in there. Every um, ultrasound we've done, the tech is like, whoa, he's really moving. Wow, he's really moving. And we're like, we know, we know. So hopefully he's just as active as we are. So are um, you gonna compete again? I, we want, I want, how many kids do you want? I want three kids. So um, with that being said, I don't to know. To be determined. <laughs> I don't know, it depends on how fast these babies come out. <laughs> <laughs> maybe in local comps, maybe team, maybe masters. I mean, to, I'm almost masters. I'm 32, so three years, you know, that's masters. So we'll see. If not, then I have a great community of Waterside members and athletes and friends and family here that we do so many fun things with. We have events every month, so that's still competitive. I can be competitive with them in the gym. I think. Personally, I was to the point where I felt like I was at my wit's end with trying and trying and trying and trying and constantly being met with failures or challenges. And I had seen my wife go through a litany of uh, drug testing and drugs and medications and procedures that I was almost to the point where I wasn't really willing to, to compromise her lifestyle anymore. And then when I saw those little boots, it just hits you all at once. There hasn't been another moment in my life except for maybe coming home from Afghanistan uh, that has rivaled that.